What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So run off where we left off, we laid siege to Moscow and we are going to assault it. They have a couple of mortars, um, but most of their infantry and their forces are coming in in reinforcement. So we should be able to get to the city before that happens. So let's crack on. I will be moving my... to the walls? To try and... Well, actually no, if I just set them firing round shot, they can play the mortars from a distance. Um, my artillery, I want to blast one massive hole in the walls. Hole in the wall, sorry. Um, send some marines through the breach to try take it. And try run some guys up around the side is... Oh wait, this is absolutely not what I thought it would be. I thought they had defences. Absolutely do not want to get caught running through this city with my infantry. We do not want to do that. Not with two units of heavy mortars with late game artillery upgrades so I'm probably going to want to go over here so let's deposit my howitzers here still have them firing round shot to try take out their mortars wherever they spawn we should probably get them within range <laughs> let's put Hmm, sure there's only so much we can do. So let's put some... Some way of elite infantry... Advancing sort of close to the town. And let's get some other infantry. Ready to advance on the right, because you want to go trap... Trap them in the, uh, the corner of the map wherever they spawn. Fusiliers, you hold here for now, so I don't quite know what to do with you yet. General's my general. My artillery's not. Mm. <laughs> that was about. Might just put them back here as a big battery to see if I can get them to lob shells onto the howitzers. So their first howitzer shots are going to be coming in. Hoping because because they are within range of my conventional artillery, it might be like, oh, quick line. God, God bless you, children. Uh, oh God, oh God. It's not too bad. Let's advance some fusiliers through the town. Let's run them up into position because we need to start pounding them quite quick. We managed to knock out one set of guns, which is quite nice. Let's come out just focus on the ones that my, my, my house is called. My cannons can't directly see. We do need to storm up and take these with some urgency. So do nope, they've engaged to so let them engage. Let's move these guys up before they have too much of a chance. Take these guys up and get them onto this ridge. They're going to be knackered, but once they get there, I can just hunk hunker down. Redirect my artillery fire onto this unit. Let's get my heavy artillery to start pounding the reinforcement column. Send them in on charge. Oh god, this isn't going to go well. You don't have to deal with it forever, though, my my Mexican children. The Marines may rout doing this. Because they are being fired upon, but they are Marines. Uniform square. It's coming how it's just to start firing on the relief. Yeah, the general's charging in. Let them because by then it'll be too late, the damage will be done. Try form a little square maybe, get these guys out of the line. Start to form a more firm line. Need to be careful here, because I don't want my fuselage to shoot into my marines, but fortunately, well this is a regular line of truth for those marines. Stay in square formation, you fault. 
Although I don't mind if they die because they are just... You wait there. Okay, now fire actually. Because you will have a reasonable position on those cuirassiers. Okay, the rest of their forces are coming into the put into the into play. Let's straighten out this bit. There's a bit of a death laid up here, so my guys can't hit their cavalry. Is it archers or they're just Tatar cavalry? They're starting to rout. Because my I will sacrifice the unit of infantry to do moderately well against their cavalry, because this is two curiosity air unit and it's a general unit. Keep aggressively pushing. Keeping these guys in reserve right now. Come on, men. These are your brothers. If my, if my infantry waver or route, good. Good, let's get my sort of brilliant angle that will do. Let's get these fuse legs behind these, behind these steps. Oh god, a cavalry charge on the right flank. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter. Oh, he's a pikes, actually. They've been absolutely shot to bits. Who are you? You just regular line infantry? Yeah, you are. It's going to be too late. They're just Tartars, though, so they're soft, squishy, light cavalry. I've been way too late with my cavalry, turning it again into square. You men, capture this little formation here. My marine, my fusiliers can't handle the wall. Doesn't matter, just hold firm. The squares can stay where they are because they'll fire on the general. And they're engaging me with their artillery though. Stay in square formation for now. To the crest of the hill. To be honest, just full on advance up, I suppose. So, what are you? Garrison line. Turn on fire at will. Okay, so I want to get aggressive now and capture the top of this hill. Question if they'll let me do it, but I'll yeah, probably give it a go. Get you out of square. They're not gonna let me do it by the looks of it, but I'm still gonna have a crack. Ooh, I've got way too many troops there. Move on it again. I'll leave. I'll leave that broken unit. They. Oh, God damn it! God, why are you being found? Whoa. Okay. Hold fire on my artillery. Man my house. Let's get the roll out of range now. The only thing to do now is provide massed fire onto their infantry. Or their cavalry. Whichever comes first. 
Kill the square on the flank. No, don't, because they're running away. Let's run these marines on the right side of the fusiliers, because the fusiliers should chew up that unit of um, uh, militia. Excellent. Guys, in a bit of a bit of a sneaky maneuver, supported by them. Good, push up, push up towards the guns. Run the marines into them. They're routing of their own volition, so I'm probably going to pick up, use my marines over there, run my, no, put my fusiliers over here to fire into the, the infantry, run my marines into this unit of militia, because 130 marines, granted they're tired, but so are the militia, and these guys are marines. Although it'd be interesting to think they will get a volley off. Five marines are down. Six. And we're in. Get aggressive. The gunners are, are charging. It's not really quick enough. So you just charge in. They're only dragoons, so you should be fine. Bring my marines around to chase them to them as well. Oh, these are canister shot. Or oh, they're firing canister shot. Or oh, shot. One of them. Not efficient use of firepower, but it doesn't matter. Fat you marines, capture the guns. You run around into this combat. It's this regiment of horse. And you all hold fire marines into the guns, please. You take out this regiment of horse. Fine, if my marines are gonna get caught caught by them. Oh, oh they missed! We managed to successfully we've managed to successfully slow down my marines but the marines have made it into combat you run into that how it's it and everyone else can just hold fire because why would you why would you shoot? Yeah, the marine, the cavalry is going to do quite well against my infantry because there's a bunch of fusiliers in there. Kill that last artillery crewman. They're going to escape because they're the red line. And let's speed up time because it's only run of time before. Yeah, there we go. End battle. Successful capture of the Russian capital. Now we have to hold it, which I think we can do. We can fortify them well enough. Um, oh, that's a lovely exchange ratio there. So Moscow is ours. First point of order, walls. And let's repair and replenish. Because it's in these four turns that we are at our weakest. So let's see what we can do. Exempt you from tax and then your university's over here. So let's knock it down. Church school. Knock that down. I'm tempted to invest in this coaching in into some of these areas to try and draw these armies away. Try to see if I can. Let's knock you down, actually. Monastery school. Knock you down. To try and convince the AI. And I'm not going to upgrade rows. I want them to be slow. I want to upgrade. I want to try to convince the AI to run around and try and raid me rather than actually. Um, Doing damage. And then this I'm in the Gilles. Is it Gil? Gil or Gilles? I call it I call it Gilles. Let's advance them up around this 
force here because I'm, I'm happy to leave it because we've got our garrison force in there. You know, good amount of mortars, two units of cavalry, which isn't ideal. Ah, they're moving, continuing to move around, threaten, threaten Vilnius. Um, let's hold here, see if we can convince them for a battle next turn. Except they assault us. Let's go over to the Huron, because this is where we got absolutely slapped by the Huron. Well, not here. Um, but here against uh, Michigan, the Huron Territory. However, a new force is moving in to capture it. And then, of course, we also have uh, Rupert's Land. And then we're spending some of our Mexican gold in these regions. Let's destroy the subsistence farm. Good, because Moose Factory should start to explode in profitability. Cool. Uh, Nizhny, that's being destroyed, isn't it? Good. Uh, machined rifling, but don't... Mm. I'll get uh, Monterey working on it afterwards, but let's get New Haven working on preserved foods. That's only 10 turns. Plus two morale and battles. Lovely. So let's hit in turn. Now that's reinforcements for that mauled Mexican force. And let's see. Huron can't sally because they don't have the, 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 the forces to do that. So they will be content to just hunker down and and fight the siege when it comes. But I'm more than happy to do that. I think because we're getting towards the, well, we are towards the back end now. I've only got to capture about three or four more more towns and then that's that's the end of it. That's the end of the campaign. But things have gone well, I think. I mean, in some ways it's been a bit dull. In Like I've been mostly focusing on the Americas, but it makes sense. Whoop, here comes the Austrians. Oh, am I going to fight that? Nah, probably not. Let's see what happens. Hurra! Ah, Hurra! see? They hit. Oh my god. Sometimes the AI does better than me. You know what? When it comes to naval battles, the AI is probably better than me. Ah, the Austrians have sallied out of Antigua. Oh god, we've not got that many troops. But then again, neither do they. But they have mortars, so... Hmm. The plan is... Can I... We will soon find out. But I think we should. Should be okay. The idea would be to maximise the use of my artillery. I mean, I know they've got lots of artillery, um, but I want to do some skirting or some skirmishing with my... Not skirmishing. Um, around their flanks to try and see if I can do some damage to them when they leave the safety of their howitzers. So I'm probably going to want to deploy back. Even though that's not a great position. So I'm deploying back like a chicken because I want them to I want to maximise the number of shots that they might get. So let's pick a reasonably strong infantry corps. So this artillery is not going to do much, but it will clear them out with kind of shot when they come close to engage. Let's deploy more howitzers. Do round shot for now. On one flank, let's put some Fusileros. Fusileros. Probably backed up with the unit of line, just in case. And then, let's put my militia near the guns. That's not ideal, but they are the biggest unit. Put some line infantry out here, and then you can just sit there and wait. Bunch of my cavalry on the left. General just in the centre-ish. Good. So I want to just... Good, because they see the garrison mortars are now idle. Which is lovely. Their regular mortars will slowly scoot forward. So here comes the cavalry. Cavalry is, the, is very is concerning. It's cavalry's new priority target. Can you have you got a good angle on them? Not a terrible angle. Fortunate thing is this flank they all shoot. They 
you all shoot, um, you're going to go into square formation. Cool. You're going to be in quicklime range now, so you are curiosiers. Oh, actually hit, hit that horse guard on the flank. There we go, we managed to make one route. You, these cav this cavalry is aggro, so go for them. And once they get within musket range, I'll start to fight normally. There we go. Presenting themselves to my infantry. Should, that should make them route. Yes. Good to the Caribbeans are trying to outshoot my infantry, which is good, that's what I want to see. Which means I can probably start to use these guys to hit their supporting arms, because I don't think they're going to beat my infantry effectively. And they're broken, lovely, confused arrows. Oh, I think you're good at shooting. Got some good, a good volley off, got some good cans to shot off. They're charging, which is interesting. Mob them with all of my infantry. Because my guys can't can't fight to save their lives. So hopefully having my general around will help them out. It should be okay. It's a weak Curacao unit. Good wavering routes. Oh god, they fired Caster into their own combat. That was my fault. Okay, here comes the canister. Oh god, here comes all of the quick line. They're very acute angles. Where's my cavalry? Good. Okay, let's pick you guys. So what's back there? 12 pounder. 12 pounder. Unifusars, which are concerning. Aha! The howitzers at the moor is on the right flank. This flank could end up losing, so we need to advance. This flank up, ready to A, provide support and also to spook them. Oh, is another devastating really quick climb. Oh, wow. That's like. So who's back there? Their general. Oh, God. Uh, the garrison, that is their garrison waters, have done it. It's one Hassan unit stayed put. Okay, we'll bring you over here. Because it's worth sacrificing a general to get that sort of bonus. In which case, then I want to motor you across the battlefield, ignore them. Yep, so that's a routing unit. Which is fair enough. They have got utterly smashed. Oh no, 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 okay. They're in a rock and hard place right now. They are going to get smashed by cavalry from all sides. And I have to, I had to take my eyes off him. Oh god, they got quick climb? Did they get quick climb? Oh, 
Hit the garrison walls as well. Over there, so I'm managing to keep peace going. Poor old militia. They are in light horse though, so it's not the end of the world. Ooh, general. So you've managed to draw the attention of their cavalry. So go hit their other guns. That's just one more to garrison gone. There's still another one. Slim back the guns and get ready to spin the line. Although to be honest, I'm probably going to do this anyway. Fill out the line because you're going to be so let's leg my general back. Watch out for these spikes. But if we run this way, we'll be fine. Yeah, because their general is still running around the battlefield. These Leros are doing a stunning job. As soon as the volleys can crush me in from the flank. Get a good view of them. Send a good view. What they want to do is here. That's where the volleys will really start to bite. Let's do that. Oh. At least they're on the move. Let's complicate their targeting a bit. And they're on the move. Good face off against the Chinese bodyguard. bodyguard. Good, that was a miss. Let's commit. Let's move in. Garrison gone. So we can get the infantry to tag the general. Just run them across the map and swap them down. Keep my my little cavalry units chasing down their infantry. Let's turn off the fire of these guys. Let's turn off the fire of the houses just in case. Good. Let's commit my cavalry to chasing people down. So they can knock out a guard unit, they're going to knock out an infantry unit. Lovely stuff. Although that's not. Well, there's the last guy. Based on that foot unit. I'm not looking to try and optimize it, like knock out this artillery, and you know, I'm just happy to knock out units. Come on. So you should knock out that guy. No, he's still alive, somehow. Just run him around into them. And hit that guy. Bash. They're not going to get. They're not going to kill these guys, but they're going to do a lot of damage. Everyone go for that artillery unit, but I suspect they will probably escape because the gun crew. I don't know where they are. So 
Unless I never, oh, I never, um, I never attacked them unlimbered, so the gun crew stayed with the gun. And we've managed to severely maul a Austrian force that has captured one of our regions. They have only 400 men remaining. That is lovely, and that's what they get when they capture uh, Mexican possessions. Well, they are beginning to push against the Prussians. Mm -hmm. The Prussians are fighting back. See, now we've made peace. We're no threats. We don't want to fight in Prussia. Just, just let them carry, Just let the Austrians, you know, and you guys wear each other out. But if we were observing for long enough, it'd be fascinating to see who would conquer who. I presume the Austrians would take the Prussians. See, it's the it, it, thing with Total War. It's one of those games where it could actually be really interesting just to watch the AI play itself. Ah, oh, they've engaged us. No, oh, that's definitely going to be an auto, because that's completely more force, that is. We lost a lot more men than we needed to. Because it wouldn't have advanced on Vilnius somewhat. Go on, go go stop me destroying buildings. That's what I want you to do. Don't try and, you know, interfere with my building of defences. Good, so that's why I'm not building... A, um, that's why I'm not building new roads because the roads will be finished before the walls and I don't want them to I don't want them to finish themselves I don't want the roads to finish themselves to allow the Russians to deploy in my own region because where's the sense in that oh yeah the Swedes are probably going to knock out that navy oh, they've been a beast see this is what happens it turns out if I don't fight naval battles ah oh. oh. So the Swedes are staging a breakout. Yeah, fair enough. La flota está perdida. Ha, at least they sunk that's they lost that ship. Ooh, the Swedes are gonna do a counter invasion. Potentially. There is a clamor for reform. So the plan the is to take due to the spreading of this navy. ideas through research and education. And the people plonk can it be there. appeased by a reduction in taxes or a change Because they government. will be able to defend Copenhagen and I don't think they're gonna go for Moscow. They're not gonna know, they're not gonna go for Stockholm, because Stockholm's just too too well defended. I mean look, three full stack armies. So if anything, let's uh scoot you down some more. So it's just two armies. They've got no defences. Got some elite infantry there. Enemy raid in Bryansk. Yeah, fine. Raid yourselves, silly. Crack on. That's one turn down. Heroic death of my admiral up here. Sorry. That's the boy. Well, let's let's replenish all their ships and let's, yeah, let's get two second rates to help bolster them. Intellectual advance works on strike, but not anymore. So you can now work on machine rifling. Fleet destroyed. Yeah, that'll happen. Ah, oh, now we're no longer at war with Prussia. Stockholm, uh, Copenhagen can begin to demonstrate its wealth. Perfect. It's building upgrades. School, and then you'll probably be the same in Stockholm. Or oh, you are building an ordnance board. So let's take one of my little sloops. Deposit them across the sea. Uh, have I got is that a good garrison? Yeah, it's a pretty good garrison. And a marine, a guard unit. Get them board. Deploy them across the coast. Get the sloop back in port. Good. Three, f three full stacks. Ready to move on Finland. Vilnius, you can replenish because you did get a bit knackered. They move up. Eh, you've got a garrison force. That, that's cause for concern. And there's an Austrian force there, so I'm probably going to want to do it there. Provoke. Uh, river battles if possible. 
new building walls, good lab gear is fortified, good. Fleet arrives here. Which I don't know if it's a good idea. Because does this region have anyone on it? Oh no, it's the Swedes, the third rate, two third rate ships of the line. Yeah, no, I'm not going to stay there. Lots of recruitment, a new army in Russia, so that's where this guy can hop out. So they got some more marines and artillery, so I'll let them. So one unit, a unit of howitzers, two units of marines, let's just fill the queue up with some line infantry. Oh, let's get some two units of guards. Then just add a load of infantry. Cool. Although some of these are probably coming from Riga. Or Moscow. Yeah, they are. Let's do that. Because I don't want any loose units running through this way because they're asking just to get chopped up. Although they're still recruiting. How bizarre. Uh, manually cancel them. Cool, but looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued Mexican adventures.